In this lesson, we'll learn how to import Lumos into an ordered project using Webflow's new libraries feature. To use this feature, you need to be on a growth workspace or agency workspace. If needed, you could always purchase a single month and then cancel after everything's imported and unlinked. So what we'll do is clone the latest version of Lumos into our workspace and head over to the style guide page. We'll select the page wrap and create a component called page wrap. Inside of this are all the utilities and components that make up Lumos. So from there, we'll head over to our components, head over to libraries, and we'll share the site's library with the entire workspace. So this is sharing all the components, all the variables in this project, and also all the utilities that are inside of these components. So then we can head to an older project, maybe that was built with a massive CMS structure, multiple pages, and sometimes it's faster to just bring the new things in instead of starting from scratch. So to do that in our older project, we'll open up libraries and we'll install the Lumo site library. And so this will bring over all the variables, components, and classes, but as workspace level components, not as site level components. So what that means is if we were to have a site level a variable called like button background, um, what this does is in front of all these workspace level, it adds some hidden characters in front of the variable name that we can't see to avoid any collision with site level variables. And that means any custom code affecting these elements won't be able to target these variables. Um, also, if we were to drop in a page wrap, We'll notice like we usually have utilities for padding and for border width stacked on top and notice how none of these elements look correct because the utilities have hidden characters in front of them to avoid class collision with classes we might already have in the project so to solve that we need to convert all of these workspace level components classes and variables to site level ones now to do that we're going to right click on our page wrap and we'll go ahead and convert to a site component so we'll have a page wrap that belongs to the workspace and we'll have a page wrap that belongs to the site. And that means when we install all the workspace related things, because this page wrap is using all of these variables, it's using classes, it's going to have to be converted all those child components to site level components. So what we can do is head to our libraries and all we need to do is uninstall the Lumos library. And we, when we do, notice how just everything is going to look the way it's supposed to look um, because all those variables, all those classes are converted to site level and there's no hidden characters in front of them now. So now that we have that set, we can just go ahead and unlink our page wrap. Command Shift A doesn't need to be a component. And the only other thing we'll need to do is affect this styling of tags. So a lot of times in Webflow, if we had to all heading tags, it has a bunch of default styles we don't need. So we would want to clear that all out for a project. Now, if you have multiple pages that were relying on these styles, it could be breaking other pages. So I would just go check those pages and make sure that the changes you're making here aren't affecting things too much. But I would recommend clearing all the these styles off the heading tags, off the um, paragraph tag. If we head over to the link tag, um, I would just clear any styles that were on that from the previous project. We'd want to make sure it has text decoration none. We'd want to make sure the color is set to custom of inherit, so it's not blue, it inherits from its parent's font color. We'd also want to drop in our image element, and we'd go ahead and select the all image tag, and we'd give that a width of 100%. We'd also give that a fit of cover so that it's not stretched. We're just applying that to all images. And we'd want to do the same thing for like all unordered list. So we'd go to all unordered list. We'd go ahead and remove those bullets by default. We'd remove the padding, remove the margin because lists are used so much for accessibility. It's really important that we don't have any of those default styles on those tags. But by importing this Lumos, it automatically brought over all the variables and like the default stylings of list when inside a rich text. So we have all that set and good to go for us. It's mainly just like the, the core tags that need a good style reset. And the most important one of those would be the body. So if we go to body all pages tag, we'd want to go ahead and link that to the text main font family. We want to link its font size to the text main font size, line height, text main line height, and um, letter spacing over here, text main letter spacing. And we'd go ahead and link its font color to our theme text color and its background color to our theme background. 
But those are really all the tags that need to be adjusted, and that's how to import Lumos into an older project.